So regarding letting a group behind you play through, I guess it really kind of depends if a marshal or the pro shop has told you that it's okay to let them play through, then it's probably fine to let them play through. And that means because there's a big gap in front of you. But if you don't have that confirmation, then you thinking, um, let me let them play through because they're in a, on a mission and they feel that we're slow for whatever reason. Maybe you are slow, maybe you're not. Um, but if there isn't a huge gap and you haven't confirmed that there's a huge gap there ahead of you, then we call it like there's nowhere to go type thing. Like if you know there's groups stacked up and you're right up on them, there's nowhere for those people to go. And whether there's no one for them to go or even where there is somewhere for them to go, if there's a gap, it still slows down play for everybody behind because you slow down even more as you let them play through. You have to wait and step out of turn. So your time actually slows down. You add maybe five minutes, maybe more. That's why they like to do it if you do it on a par three because it's a shorter hole. But you might add five minutes or 10 minutes, just depending if you let people play through. So it's not necessarily the answer. It could be, but it's great to check with the marshal or the pro shop.